Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel Swami Vijay and this is Swami Vijay speaking to all. In this video, I am going to show you how to insert a table inside your Gmail. It is almost all impossible to create a table when you are sending a email in Gmail. But in this video, I am going to show you how to insert a table, not any kind of attachments like Excel or Word document. You can insert a table, you can type in the table and you can send in email. So without any delay, let me begin this video. First, we have to log into the Google Chrome browser. And once you log into the Google Chrome browser, here you can see the Gmail tables by Cloud HQ. So this is the Chrome extension free of cost. We have to first install or we have to add to Chrome. But let us understand first what are the advantages of this Gmail tables. First of all, you can insert tables inside the Gmail. So add tables to your Gmails. You can with Gmail tables by Cloud HQ, you can now easily create a table to include in your Gmail. In about 30 seconds, you will be able to customize yours. You can text color and background, border color, broader size, header row, header column. And uh, this is great for sales personals to create a table with uh, different pricing ties options. Customer support to create a checklist for troubleshooting instructions. Managers and team leads to indicate top performing members or metrics on their team. It has a multiple uh, users. Once you add to this Chrome, you can use according to your profession. So I am going to teach you how to insert the table to create a mark sheet. Somebody asked you to send a mark sheet. So generally what teachers do, they will prepare Excel sheet or they will prepare the mark sheet in Word document and they will attach the document. But hereafter, if you add this Chrome extension Gmail tables, you can create a table and you can send the mark sheet in the Google table Gmail or you can use this table to create a multiple functions according to your profession or according to your need. So first let us add this to Chrome. So to click add to Chrome. So once you select add to Chrome here you can see add Gmail tables by cloud HQ. It can read your changes. Okay, no need to worry about all these things. So select add extension. It is very useful extension because while sending email, if you want to send data, which is in tabular form, you need table to insert. Generally what we do, we use uh, Excel or Word document to create all these things. So, but hereafter, you need not to worry about, you just add this Chrome extension and then you can create any email or you can send email using this extension and you can insert tables. So for that, let me show you how to do this. Now for that, let us click compose. Now whomever you want to send, you have to first select that one that is known to you. So no need to uh, discuss all those things. So subject like uh, uh, table in Gmail, Gmail, okay. Now here, let me just type like this. So, uh, below is the mark sheet of uh, Mr. like XYZ student. Okay. So, now what we have to do is now we want to create a mark sheet uh, in giving information like name of the student and the marks in the different subjects. So I'm going to give an example. So to first we have to insert the table inside the email. So for that you have to see here at the bottom insert button. Can you see this bottom insert button? We have to select this insert button. So once you click that insert button, you get select element button or table. Now our purpose is to create a table. So let us click table. Now once you click table here, you can see Gmail buttons and tables by Cloud HQ. So you can decide how many rows you want. If you want four rows, you can select four rows. Or if you want 10 rows, you can select 10 rows according to your needs. And columns also you can select and spacing also you can select how much space you want. One or zero or padding and border size also. And width also you can select whether you want 250 or uh, more than that. And if you want to add header, select this add header and you can even select the color of the header also. So let me select one color for the header. Okay, this is the header color and add column header also. If you want add column header, select add column header and you can select 
some background color for that so let me select this background color for header now once you selected all these things like number of rows you required number of columns you required then after selecting the header color background all those things if required select or click ok so once you click ok here you can see the column has been the table has been inserted in your gmail now the simplest thing is if you want to change the color or anything just click on the table and come to this edit button select this edit button and if you want to change the header background select that one and go back to the color which you want so let me first keep it normal and then select click now here you can see i have created a b c d columns and one two three four columns and rows now again i want to edit i don't want a header i don't want a header column so let me click now here this is the table now the first thing is if you want to edit the table okay if you want to delete the table you need not to worry you just select all this and click delete button in your on your keyboard you will get you will delete the entire table so let me once again go with the same uh, table okay all these things are ready so let me select now this is a table inserted now what is the purpose we want to give the marks of a student so below is the mark sheet of x y z student so let us me add marks like this uh, english okay maths you can use this uh, table for multiple purpose according to your need uh, as i teach english so i use this format so english math science sst now we want to add one more column so let us go again uh, rows and columns so ro rows let me increase one now see automatically one more row came now let us go with hindi okay here uh, i want now the heading like i want one more uh, row let us see whether it will add to the first so here you can see insert row above insert row below insert column left insert column right delete row delete column so i want insert one row above so let me click so whether it came it doesn't so again we have to go back to edit now let me increase one more row here now i got so let me copy this information and let me paste so it is not happening that means we have to be clear careful before doing all these things okay let me okay so again let me do this one so we have to uh, have proper idea about how many rows and how many columns we want so let me go with the three columns and six rows now here are the three columns and six rows okay hi here i'll write subject okay maximum marks and marks scored okay now let me go with the subject english so let me add let me edit this one uh, so width let me increase this to 260 okay now see english and then maths so you need little practice it is actually very good because you can insert the table and you can send the data without preparing again in excel sheet or in word document so english math science sst and then i'll go with the hindi okay so maximum marks let me give 100 100 100 100 so these are the maximum marks okay mm, i can adjust this one also okay okay then mark score let us go with 80 marks 85 marks so you must have understood according to your convenience according to your need you can add and delete information in this one if i want to add few more things like if i want to uh, increase the width of the okay 270 now see i can move this one subject mass and all those things okay let me once again do this one okay 280 now see that means according to your need you can adjust so sir below the mark sheet of um, then so you can use this to send data or, or whatever 
uh, the information you want to send in tabular format so this is a email i have prepared i have not inserted a word document no need to go for insert preparing uh, information or the table in uh, excel sheet or word document so straight away you can send the information in email account so after completion of preparing the uh, table or the information in tabular format what you have to do you have to select the send button so you have sent the information but let us check whether the information which we have sent in the table whether it went exactly in table format or not see here it is went it went exactly in the table format so use this chrome extension and you can send information in table without using uh, any kind of attachments like preparing the excel sheet or word document in table and you can directly send the information in your gmail without any problem so i hope this video is very much helpful to most of you uh, maybe you may be a business person you may be a teacher or you may be a sales person you may be in a different uh, professions but this uh, chrome extension is useful for each and everybody so this is about uh, the gmail tables by cloud and it is free of cost you need not to pay anything to use this extension so um, this is about uh, this video and thanks for watching this video and if you have not yet subscribed to my channel please subscribe to the channel so that you can receive latest updates information the moment I upload videos on youtube so thanks for watching this video and always remember stay home stay safe and stay strong take care Thanks for watching this video. If you have come to the end of this video, I believe that you are interested to watch a few more videos related to the topic. So now you can check this out video or watch this one. Click this video. It will take you into another video.